Hi guys, I'm Caroline and welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I'm going to show some gorgeous, gorgeous vegan food. I'm so, so excited. I'm also going to eat, I'm going to try it, I'm going to tell you guys what it's like. Um, now it's a brand I saw on Instagram called Pro's Vigo. It's a raw, vegan, organic food company. It's super great for my allergies. Um, it's super easy. I looked at all the items beforehand and thought, oh gosh, I wish they told in. Um, like the UK, how do I order them? Are they going to feature in Holland and Barrett and that sort of thing? And then I saw a post that they're going to be in Amazon, on Amazon DB, so like Amazon.co.uk, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's great! Um, so I contacted them, like, when you're going to, when, when's the release date, and everything like that. And they said, oh, here's a code. Put your offer in by this date to so use the code. And I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. Um, so yeah, I got four things. I want to try one of each thing and then I'm definitely going to already rebuy some things are already in my basket ready to go it came as soon as it said it would straight away really easy great packaging and um, sometimes when I order things on Amazon um, it's not really clear if it's directly from Amazon or the brand or the packaging boxes can be massive or tiny but it's perfect everything fit really snugly perfect in the packaging I was really impressed um, but yeah I will also put in prices amount and let's get going so yep the brand's called Pro's Vigo and absolutely amazing it's clearly vegan friendly oh hello sunlight clearly vegan allergy free all of those things it's super good if you've got a child that's dairy free or you're an adult trying to find a healthy snack but you can't have dairy or gluten or so maybe you want low soy maybe you're lactose free anyway ramble 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 gonna get into it now First of all, we've got the crackers. So I'm going to try the crackers. Now, I live off crackers, plain crackers, anything like that, because I can personally have wheat and gluten. Um, and I do tend to eat a lot of dry foods and want a snack for like plain things. So just taking it out of the box, sealed nicely by a plain sticker. Comes like this. Okay. All right, guys. So I've cut them open. I'm going to try one. Mmm. Okay. Crunchy, bit chewy. I can taste the oats, very carroty, the obviously carrot flavoured crackers. You can see it all in there, like that. My nice little shapes, I think they're adult and child friendly. I would easily mm. add some of these to a snack box at any time. Mm. Yeah, not too dry. Mm. Yep. Okay, so that was the that was the apple crackers. Not too dry. I think they were fine. Next, we're gonna try. Oh, and they were. Because I actually, I actually decided to get my Amazon list up on my phone. So from Amazon.co.uk, um, I got the organic carrot crackers. The organic carrot crackers. They were four pound thirty nine. And I'm now going to try these pralines. Again, super allergy free, raw, organic, vegan. We've got the vegan stamp on pretty much everything. Everything's handmade as well. It says so at the top. And I love when you can clearly see something's vegan. You know what's in it. What you know, you don't have to check the ingredients basically because you can already pretty tell that it's going to be good. So yeah, these pralines were organic, vegan, assorted pralines. Were nine pounds twenty eight. That's actually similar similar price to what I'd class as like a rival brand. You know the brand Bouja Bouja? I don't really like all of their truffles or their pralines. Some are a bit too strong tasting or not enough strong for me. Um, so I really want to see what these ones are like. So just open the box. I've just pulled it open. And they've come wrapped like that. Similar to other brands out there. But that aren't vegan and allergy free or organic. Um, so you just unwrap it. And I'm going to try some. Very showing gluten on camera. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. So. Mmm. So this one's more like um, a fruity biscuit flavour. Never mind my bite shape. And so it's like they've done like a cake mix, an oaty mix, 
rolled it into a ball. Then it's been co covered in chocolate. It's a nice thick layer of chocolate. Gorgeous dark chocolate. I'm so glad I've got a chocolate bar to try because honestly I'm so excited for it. Yep. Mmm. That's really, really good. It's definitely up there. And again, they're also they're assorted, so I don't know how many are of what flavour. It doesn't really say they're just loose in the box. Like, I don't always read everything. If I don't have to read the ingredients and things. Like, if I know it's vegan dairy-free, then I usually won't check the ingredients. Um, unless I think it's high in sugar, then I'll want to work out how much sugar it is and try and have less sugar during the day. But this is the back of the pralines. Anyway, in case you wanted to know, everything's really super clearly, obviously, stated. The date on them is good. And yet, there is an actual little tray looking at it. You pull them out. And they are all... Whoa, they are all different. So you've got two. So they're separated by twos. I don't know how well you can see. Um, so I hope so. They're probably the same flavour as the last one, and then separated like that. Um, yes, they're really they're, they're really great. Oh, I'm taking forever, aren't I? On this video, they're really great. Um, next, I'm gonna try. This is the one I was the most excited about. Love the packaging. It's shiny. Again, it's really clear how much is in it, what is in it, everything like that. All the allergens, the fact that it's everything, pretty everything free. Lactose, gluten, caffeine, free with no added sugar. Again, it's handmade. It's clearly there with the vegan logo. Absolutely love it. If I saw this in the shop, I would just easily pick up two or three. I wouldn't have to worry about it because I knew it'd be, knew it'd be really good and a healthy, healthier version of snack. I would live off chocolate. I got off easy, like a Cadbury's bar of chocolate, but a dark chocolate milk-free version. It doesn't have to be a special brand like Moo Free. It doesn't have to be this brand. It doesn't have to be a set brand. As long as I realise that it's allergy free for me and vegan friendly um, for my life choice, then I'm putting like 10 in my trolley. Especially if I've not seen it before and I'm excited to try a new brand, just like this one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break a bit off um, and try and not eat the whole thing. I'm about to have my tea. So yeah, this is the organic vegan hazelnut harmony bar and it does look very hazelnutty once you've broken off inside. It's melting in my fingers, only very slightly. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely hazelnutty. Quite crunchy. But also the chocolate's really smooth. It's dark, not, not bitter dark. It's not like a strong bitter taste. It's a very mild chocolatey taste. Mmm. Yeah, it's got the Himalayan pink salt in it. Definitely can tell it's got raisins and almond flour in it. It's got carob powder, that's probably gonna be that chocolatey, but more rooty taste. Um, carob's quite a strong flavour, so this is, um, it's good that it's not too strong tasting, because carob chocolate by itself kind of puts me off, because it's so strong tasting. I'd rather it be like a dark bitter taste than a carob bitter taste, if that makes any sense to anybody. So yeah, absolutely love this. Mmm. Oh yeah, definitely tell it's got cinnamon in there as well. Mmm, okay. The hazelnut bar itself. So we've done the crackers, the pralines. Now the hazelnut bar was £2.69. I do see rival brands, well, rival brands. Different brands doing bars like this, but up to like three pot four pounds. Sounds a bit expensive, but the fact that everything's raw organic, vegan, allergen free, they've got the special vegan logo, it's absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah, anyway, on to the last thing. Now, I think I've saved my personal most interesting one till last, because these I looked like, I wondered if they're going to be anything like the fruit winders that I've had, anything like fruit winders I've had before, or I used to like the rolled cinnamon wafer sticks, but they can see very usually, so I'm really excited to try these. Um, Apple roll up fruit at four pounds. Whoa, hello, son. At, apple, at four pounds nineteen. Um, yeah. So again, the box opens really easily, and they're in a package, so I'll just open it. Okay. Okay. So, wow. They're, stuck, they're all stuck together. The soup is sticky. Yeah, it looks like a rolled wafer biscuit, but it's sticky 
it's a bit squishy you can tell it's through i don't know why i'm showing you like it's a makeup product um yeah hello tube hello <laughs> no that's really great it looks super fun mm, a bit hard to bite through wow it's just tastes just like apple crisp but yeah obviously pressed apple tastes just like apple crisps but without the crunchy crispness of crisps um these are absolutely amazing i would definitely snack on these i'm definitely going to put them back in my basket to buy again mm, yeah okay guys so i've tried everything i really liked everything I think the chocolate's not too bitter or the carrot taste isn't too strong. You can really tell what's in it. It's organic, it's natural, it's raw, so none of the nutrients has been lost. So very, very good. Really happy with this brand. Definitely order them again. More so than alternative brands who are similar. However, I've not seen it on an alternative brand that is everything like raw, vegan, organic, natural, no sugar and allergy free. Yeah, they had an effort of when to order things by to use a 50% discount code. That took off around £10. Postage and packaging was £6, so that compensated it really. I always like that. If I can apply coupons or vouchers via the Honey app, or um, if I can just apply any sort of discount money off, and then I think, hmm, I can add that sticky sheet in, hmm, I can add that chocolate bar in, oh, I can add this to my order. It's always, always good. I think it always benefits the company as well if um, you're compensated for the free, the, the postage and packaging or the delivery ends up being free somehow or dramatically reduced. So yeah, it came to 20, 2050 and after postage and packaging minus the discount, it was £16.27. So to have a raw vegan brand, it's absolutely amazing for it to come under £20 with the discount, £20 without a discount, absolutely reasonable, absolutely fine. For me personally, I would definitely recommend this brand and I would definitely have them again. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be shouted for my tea soon and I'm not going to be hungry. Okay guys, bye!